All right, welcome everyone, Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Silver Spoon, Spoon season, season one, episode six. six. That's last the last episode. episode. Hmm. Yeah, we had ourselves a close encounter of the farm kind. That's right. And now it's time to take things in the continuing direction. Of Indeed. Now we've got Hachiken, a leader, mm -hmm. a man among boys, a boy among men, and uh, also... Uh, found his place within the community. So let's let's shake that up a bit. Let's have some let's have some drama. Let's have some let's have some good stuff in there. That does sound so, pretty yeah. good. No, without further ado, let's get into this. Mm. They're getting big. Yup. <gasps> Time for slaughter. Mm. <laughs> Still super cute. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> but of course you're interested, <laughs> right? <laughs> Bruh. Oh. God, you decided to. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Big from us. Mm -hmm. Bro. He's yoked. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god, that is the cutest! <laughs> I can't yep. say it, Jacob. Yeah, I was gonna say! Was she a hundred? Oh my god! Yeah! yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Food made with love versus you know, made because um Oh, it's cool the way the screen reflects over his eyes, almost like there's like a tears, like there's sadness in there. Ah, he didn't yeah. tell him then. Yeah. What is he doing? City boy. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't even bad an eye at mucking out the stables now. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly what I was thinking of. Mm, it's Bezos. あ、<laughs> <laughs> This is how everyone ever talks about. Okay. Uh. Oh. Nope. Yeah, you should call on our landline then. Oh. <laughs> I love it! It's a four generations household, I love it. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> See, they're farmers. Oh, shit. Nope. Oh wait, what was that about your phone not having signal? This is my place. <laughs> it's a fixer-upper, but we're, we're working on it. Took all my life savings to get it. With the hay? Yeah. Wait, what do they do? There's no label labor laws for family. <laughs> ah. あ、ありがてえけど、バイト代でねえぞ。そんなん受け取れないよ。二人とも<笑><笑><笑> ショウブンの線引きは農家によってそれぞれだろう。なんかさ、俺思ったんだけど、こういう経営の仕方っておかしくね。三百六十五日から大事めで働いても働いても金にならないの当たり前みたいに。あちけん。ごめん、言い過
てみる首外すぞそうこの骨の間に歯を入れる首重いぞ気をつけろはいほらいいよしよしよし<笑>まあこんなもんだろう半分は駒場さんちの分なはいはいさん<笑><笑>お疲れお疲れ様ああ手洗ってきたらおおおいやThe similarity in smell to the meat sure gets accented by the Oh. 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 Won't get a text back for till the end of the summer, but yep. Ah, yes, that's the best part. Mm -hmm. Ah, I remember doing this, being oh, on the truck in yeah. the back and like holding it. Yeah. Oh, bro, no, 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 not a good time. Mountain no hoshi, Nidai niwa, Kageto, Tokuma no stai. <laughs> this grandma's a psycho. He intentionally hit the bear, like, like. Oh, sweet! He, he like sees it coming, and he's like, "Aha!" Yeah. <laughs> that's another run, month's, bitch. <laughs> that's another month's dinner. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. Incredible episode. Good stuff. Fantastic episode. I love how something oh. as like <laughs> they take something like butchering a dead animal, right? Something that a lot of people could understandably be uncomfortable with. But then it's the, no, 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 we're going to showcase how this is actually something where it's Hachiken overcoming his fears mm -hmm. and and learning to to face the things that he doesn't like. Mm -hmm. And awesome. Yep. Yeah, this was entirely a, a massive, massive big win of a Hachiken episode because he not only had some great character development, he also got outside of himself a lot mm -hmm. and really helped other people out with their thing even though he still hasn't figured out what he wants right and while he definitely has a crush oh yeah on aki mm -hmm. because sure yeah nothing in this episode really serviced to immediately expedite their relationship in some way exactly because that's not what the episode focused on in nope. a lot of ways, that's what the episode was bookended with to keep the kind of the reminder in our minds and yeah. also just in general that Hodgkin still likes her. Yeah, he's still got a crush on her, and so that's gonna be forefront in his mind. Right. But as far as like the the benefits that he got from this, it's mm -hmm. a nice little subversion, but in a way that I, I actually appreciate, mm -hmm. of the usual like romance arc, you know, trope of like, oh, okay, well, you know, can mm -hmm. I spend summer vacation with the person that I like, you right. know, and we can get closer. No, it's actually that you, well, you worked a lot. Yeah, and while summer vacation might not literally just be over after this one episode. Sure. We'll see. Mm -hmm. But um, we're focusing on the ways in which he had this connection to pork bowl mm -hmm. and the idea that that uh, loneliness i would say that he's had oh, here I like it. was kind of being uh, kept from being addressed because he was attaching himself to the easiest thing available to him cute little pink you know animal but it's the no 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 don't you can't get attached to that that's right that's going to get chopped up and eaten mhm mm so yep you even that you have no, you know, relationship with uh, any of the animals involved in this thing here, this should be easier, right? Right? And in some ways it is. In some ways it is, but it's also the, oh, but I can't, I can't hide anymore. I can't run uh -huh. away, as he was saying. I yeah. have to address this directly. 
and it took some time. And mm-hmm. I like that he incorporated all the little things that he had learned, which is the, okay, we'll, you know, acknowledge and kind of make this a spiritual thing where it's not just the, oh, this means he believes in some kind of spiritual no. thing, really, but it's a ritual to keep yeah. him grounded in what he's doing here. And then immediately, humility-wise, is like, hey, can you walk me through Teach me the exact steps yeah, of how to do I don't, this. I don't actually know how what to. What you said earlier made no me, sense to me. I didn't get a fucking lick yep. of that. Yep. So, and yeah, yeah, there, there were. There's a lot of things that I that I like from this episode. One mm-hmm. of the things in particular is just that sort of casual, like you know, thing of, oh hey, here's some families with their different ways of doing mm-hmm. things, and he sees all of the ways in which he's like, wait, but this seems <laughs> terrible, right? Like <laughs> you're you're having you're having the two little ones still be working at 8 30 at night they're helping little kids. on kids yeah yeah they are uh, little like, kids uh, wait Do you know about labor laws? yes <laughs> right hey don't tell them about that stuff right and it's like oh okay that's 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 your perspective but then also there's the all the stuff of the oh wait mm-hmm. you were worried about me right it's not that you were pissed that I was not going to be helping out with the rest of the chores, even though Gramps was still like, okay, I'm going to oh, get back. I was bullying him about that. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah just, just a little bit. A little bit, yeah. But no, they were actually concerned. Oh, mm-hmm. this is a place where, like, the food is made with love and care. You know, like, hmm. Hmm. A chicken might not be used to all that. Mm-hmm. I love the fish out of water stories when done to focus on the ways in which a character... Um, needs to address the emotional dissonance of it rather Mm -hmm. than the hilarity or the plot kind of differences. It's the, no, Hachiken doesn't really understand how to feel about this. Yep, It's something where um, we have so little understanding as to his family situation. We only really know a little bit of his perspective on it. Mm -hmm. But in a really interesting way, we have the... um, the perspective a little bit of what his mother has uh, kind of been interacting with through the texts and stuff, but they're all very like very matter removed. of fact, simple. Mm-hmm. They, they don't really have much um, personality attached to them, so we can't really deduce anything about her through them. Mm-hmm. But she is texting him; she is initiating yeah. communication. Mm-hmm. So things might be bad in his situation there, but they might also be like. Uh, they don't have to like yeah they don't have to be that bad right uh there was a bit that i i I wanted to mention it before we got into this the discussion but it was either when they were on the truck or when he was walking around with um uh, ichiro like and they were just talking about the whole situation and everything but i i i missed a line that seemed like it was hachiken talking about the the contrast between the oh having people be worried about him versus the like you know, uh, maybe like things being, you know, it being more about like how he does in school and such. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm, I'm looking here, but you need to kind of tell me. Okay, I, I think it, I think it's before he they actually got to Ichiro's house. Um, but if we can't find it, I, that's well, yeah. I just I just need to know what what I'm looking for here because I'm 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 looking for. I I I didn't I didn't read the whole line, but it but it I. I thought it said something to the extent the extent of that his parents, you know, in a situation like this, they would have just been more concerned about, you know, okay, but how are your grades doing? You know, how are you doing at school? Not the, oh, you know, you were you were out late and, you know, you should have been home or something like that. Okay. I I vaguely <sighs> Yeah, okay. Vaguely remember that, but I I don't. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I don't I'm looking through this area here and I don't I don't see anything about that. Yeah. It might be something that comes later and it's just not with Ichiro. Right. And that's the only thing I could really think about is that it's something that comes uh after. But Maybe, maybe regardless of of the the specifics of the of the line, it was communicated in this episode that that's that's more or less what the situation was, even if we mm-hmm. don't know the details, right? Hachiken was surprised by the fact that they were worried about him and all that stuff, and I don't know. I just right. it it feels it gives me a similar feeling to like Sangatsu, 
Ah, yeah. But like, definitely gives me a Sengatsu. That but less, like, yeah. less heavy, less serious, you know? Much less heavy. Yeah. Yeah, there's the little flashback of him remembering the onigiri that he would have that were probably made by him or mm -hmm. not made with love. Right. As, as it was contrasted there. But, but yeah, after kind of mm -hmm. going yeah. through this here, I think it's just him thinking about this here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, crap. He's talking, saying they'll probably have finished all the work. Yeah, they'll be, they'll so, be mad. so mad. That's probably the part that you're thinking about. Because then he just ends up back at sure. the place there. And they're so like, worried. they're so worried about you. And then the twins yeah, show and up. Then the and twins then show up. Just... Okay. Hmm. Well, yeah. if anybody if anybody knows the line that I'm talking about, absolutely pass it along. Because I, I would love to have the specifics of that be, be cleared up. Because um, this show... I, I love the things that this show does with Hachiken and his whole, like, family situation that's not good, but with the way that it very much keeps it, like, you know, a, a removed thing, I would, you know. Well, you also have knowledge because you've seen this show before, so that's you just true. might be remembering multiple things that haven't happened yet or no, things I, that have happened and you're mixing well, and combining them. I, I don't think it's that, just because I, I, I don't actually remember that much about this show. Ah, sure, you know, sure. But... Yeah. Yeah. Um, but sweet yeah. episode. Sweet episode. I loved the focus on the way in which the farms are run differently. Mm -hmm. The idea that the grandma does not want to get rid of the animals because they've been doing this for so long. She got attached to them. And in a lot of ways, the system that they are running here is not the best one or nope. the optimized one. But it's in terms what they got. How a milk farm is meant to be run. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the one with the girl who has the giga farm, that's how you actually should optimize a milk farm for From a business maximum. standpoint. Well, yeah. well, well, yes, every farm is a business, but it's the thing in which they're running a bad business. Right. They are, they are running mm -hmm. a business poorly because of probably a bunch of little things that all add up to where they right. actually can't have, they can't hire anybody. Right. It's a two generational home instead of a, you know, four generational home like, like Aki's got, you know, things like that. Yeah. Right, and we can see some things where the stuff with the Mikage farm, where it's the uh, the dad is a back brace and he's working, mm -hmm. and it's the they're headed in a sad, dark way to the place where uh, Ichiro's family farm right. is at. It's as a well. they're just a different type of farm because they're yeah not, exactly they're a De horse farm more than a dealing with the same kind of conflict of. Oh, overwork being a legitimate issue, mm -hmm. even if maybe so far at least they're lucky and their dad didn't die. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, he's already kind of lame already at this mm -hmm. point. Yep. So that's yep. its own thing. Good thing grandpa's around and still still fit and kicking. Y yeah, yeah. You know? Grandpa like, like, is literally like yeah. carrying the place. And, and so, regard. yes, he will absolutely be like, no, this young whippersnapper comes in and slacked off on work. Yeah, yeah, I'm absolutely gonna, having him butcher this deer. Because <laughs> like, that's the other difference. Hachiken is not coming in to work for free. No. They're paying Hachiken him. Hachiken is getting paid. Mm -hmm. This is a part-time job. Right. Their farm is doing, at the very least, a bit better than Ichiro's family's farm. Right. They had a horse buyer coming in specifically right. like that day. Yeah. Which is, means it's not a just a, oh, this is a very special random day that never happens that often. It's the, no, no, this is the guy. He but buys it's probably, horses. But I... I absolutely could see it being something where like in a in a more extreme version of like you know sales with commission and things like that uh -huh. it's the oh okay we just sold a horse awesome we can we can loosen up the belt a little bit you know we mm -hmm. can like all right cool yeah. oh it's been a while since we've sold a horse well that's the thing is that if you have um a, a cycle mm -hmm. the buyer probably comes in seasonally Oh, like sure. He comes in probably once every six months, once every year or something yep. like that. And with regularity buys a horse. So he's like a consistent form of income probably. Well, right. As long as they well. can like, you know, make sure that they have horses that will impress them and things like that. Hence right. the, hence the, oh yeah, she's got a, you know, like talking nice about all, rump. All the, yeah. yeah, all the specs of this horse, you know, because <laughs> they're, it has such a big impact on their lives. Right, right. Um, 
but yeah, we saw some also some instances of Mikage or, or Aki being like, uh, yeah, they're really emphasizing this husband thing. Mm-hmm. Really emphasizing I'm going to take over the farm and all that. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. And the thing is, it's it's one of those things where we, we see the family, we love the family, but then there's these these other elements, right? Where it's like, like oh. Uncommunicated things. Uh-huh. Where yep. that could be literally the situation that's going on with Hachiken, for all we know, is that they have, he has a very high performing, you know, parents in terms of higher education. Right. Hence them, you know, being gone late and things like right. that. And yeah. it's the thing of where they're like, no, we're going to have you take over like a family practice or something. Mm-hmm. Or you're going to at the very, you know, you're going to be a lawyer. Yeah. You're yeah, going exactly. to be this career. Right. You right. Know? Uh-huh. And it's the, they're not abusive necessarily, but they don't care about his feelings, you know? Yeah. Like they just, they just, they just don't. They're like, no, you're going to do this because we've planned out your life ahead of you. Same thing that could be going on with Aki. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's really cool to see that there's going to be bonding that comes about in the midst of the strife that has nothing to do with these characters as a collective, but then each having their own story Mm -hmm. that's brought in from the family dynamic. And we already now see where Ichiro's Hachikens and Aki's all kind yep. of come from. And Ichiro's trying to do the, the the double whammy where he's like, no, no, no. I'm going to become a pro baseball player. I'm going to get signed. And then with the money from that, I'm going to make it so that I can save the farm. Poor Ichiro. He thinks he's in a baseball manga right now. <laughs> I mean, he thinks he's in a sports he's, manga. He's built like he's in one. <laughs> I know. But, but yeah. the story's not about you, so... No, that's just how he gets uh, gets executed from the story. He he actually gets signed, and then it's farewell. We'll never see you again. We can cheer him on. Oh, yeah. that'd be sweet. Ooh. That'd be really sweet. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I really hope that this is not just a one-and-done episode. I hope hmm. this is a mini-arc. I want the Aki and Hachiken relationship to develop in the friends and yeah. more connected by their struggle kind of story before we get into any kind of yes romantic the, development the all. episodes before this were a lot of good faffing about with the pizza and with well, the, yeah. the escape and everything the cast. right it, well it's building the cast and building the some of the chemistry between them but not necessarily the serious ways in which they know and care about each other well, you know well, right but they were also barely about aki my point is that uh, this yes. is ones where i, I want it to be about Aki and Hachiken, mm. none of the side characters. Sure. Like, keep, not, not even Ichiro. Yeah. Not, like, Ichiro's there, but he's not, mm-hmm. he's at his own place doing his own thing. Yeah, yeah. We can have isolated, dedicated time to mm-hmm. understanding who they are. Yeah. Because while the previous two episodes of the pizza and the uh, the rotary uh, yeah. machinery, whatever thing, the alien tech, you know, <laughs> um, <laughs> um None of those were actually specifically Aki focused nope. uh, things there. And they if were... we're going to do a romance subplot, then we want to know and care about both characters mm-hmm. on, yeah, on mm-hmm. the sides there. So, yep. yeah. But y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out my Persona 5 Royal Let's Play on Twitch, and if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, or semblance of sanity, I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.